just disappeared. So, um, kind of nostalgic. Uh, I remember them from uh, when I was growing up and then they kind of just disappeared. So, yeah, been a while since I had them. And yeah, last but not least, we do have some beef jerky originals. So, looking forward to tasting some of that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is all brand new today. Uh, I did just get this from Tesco's, although they have been raided uh, by my brother since I brought them home. So that is why they're open. But that's kind of a good thing anyway, because then you don't have to hear me rustling around with uh, opening all the packages and all that stuff. So I think we're going to start by having one of these uh, Tootsie Rolls over here. Right, so we're going to just uh, dive straight into this packet now. It doesn't actually say what this is uh, on on the pack, so I'm just gonna dive right in with this and see if I can actually get it open. As you can see, it's just kind of like an extru extruded piece of uh, I don't really know what to call that, like a bit of chocolate or fudge or. It's kind of squidgy, not too hard. It's kind of hard, I guess. Um, looks kind of chewy uh, on the outside, so we're just gonna shove this in. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. That is an interesting flavour. It's um, it's chocolatey, but. There's hints of like orange in there a little bit. Hmm. Wow. It's not what I was expecting at all. It's kind of got like a fudge taste as well, like a kind of caramel. Um. It's not too sweet either, which is nice. Hmm. I actually really like that. It's um definitely not like an expensive candy. I can tell by the texture and the flavour, but although it's definitely artificially flavoured, it's uh it's actually quite a nice one to be honest. Quite pleasant. There's nothing um that stands out as not very nice or anything like that with the flavour, so I'm probably going to be um, kind of wrapping up this bag within the next couple of days because those were really nice and I can see myself snacking on those uh, quite a bit. So I am looking forward to, uh, to eating some more of those a little bit later on actually. Um, oh yeah, I don't really know how to describe the flavour. It's kind of like a someone's tried to describe the flavor of chocolate to someone that's never made chocolate before and they've gone off and made what they think chocolate should taste like and that's kind of what they've come up with um, but it's not bad it's not bad I'd probably give it like a five out of ten six maybe um, right so let's move on now to uh, to Hershey's uh, creamy milk chocolate now I've heard a lot of bad things about this from fellow people from the UK that have gone to America and tried Hershey's candy. Now this is in like a bar form. I don't know whether this tastes different to a Hershey's Kiss. They've all had kisses and they've said that they're disgusting. They taste like um, really bad and sickly and horrible. Um, I'm just going to put this in and see what I think. Okay. So, it's actually not as bad as they say it is. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know whether that's different to the flavour of a kiss because they've all had kisses. And I, someone actually brought back kisses for me once and they were horrible. I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't actually eat them. They had a funny smell as well, like someone had thrown up in the bag. Um, but this tastes different. I don't know whether they've changed their recipe or whether this one's something different But it tastes a lot different to what I remember, but this one is actually pretty pleasant I actually quite like this it tastes like cheap chocolate you get at Christmas in an advent calendar If anyone has ever had a advent calendar chocolate in from the UK 
they'll know what I'm talking about. It's kind of that flavour, um, which isn't bad in small amounts, but I wouldn't go out and buy a bar of this again in the future, I don't think. Just for the fact that there is cheaper ones in the UK that you can get because this is imported from America, so it comes with a premium price. And uh, we have better chocolate here than this, I guess, taste-wise for me personally. I would probably rate this maybe a three out of 10. But what I'm really looking forward to now is the, uh, <laughs> I don't know where the rest of the packet of this went, uh, but this is the Hershey's uh, Cookies and Cream. I am really looking forward to this. I love cookies and cream. When it comes to things like Oreos, oh my God, tastes so good. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this is as good as that because it looks amazing. It's got loads of biscuit in this, look very creamy looking. Um, I'm excited, so I'm gonna try this and let you know. Oh, oh, already I can tell you, oh, that is really good. Oh my God, that tastes better than Oreo. Wow. That is better than I thought it was going to be as well, especially after tasting Hershey's original chocolate. I wasn't kind of uh, getting my hopes up at all for that cookies and cream, but that was really good. That was really good. Whoever came up with the cookies and cream recipe needs to go fix the original flavor as well because they did a really good job. That's so good. Oh my God, I would give that like an eight out of 10. Oh. Um, if I see that again and it's cheap in the UK, I'm definitely picking that up because that was amazing. That was really, really nice. Right, I think next we're going to be tasting one of these Reese's Cups. Now, I always thought Reese's Cups were bigger than this. Uh, on TV, I've seen people eating. On YouTube, I've seen people eating. And... Uh, I don't know why, but I just always thought that Reese's Cups were bigger than this. Now, you're seeing this on screen now. If they're not bigger than this, or they are bigger than this, let me know in the comments. If you've ever had a Reese's Cup, let me know, because I always presumed they were bigger than this. I don't know why. Um, I'm probably completely wrong. <laughs> but I just thought they were, and I was a little bit disappointed. However, I don't really like peanut butter all too much, so probably a good thing that this isn't bigger uh, I'm gonna give this a nibble I'm not gonna take a massive bite because if the peanut butter is too overpowering then I will not be able to eat it so I guess we're just gonna uh, go in for a bite this is actually melting <laughs> in my hand right now as we speak my finger is getting very chocolatey okay here goes oh Okay, straight off the bat. Oh, that is very, very strong peanut butter. Wow. I'm just going to put that down there. Look, you can see my fingerprint where the chocolate has melted on the top there. That peanut butter is way too strong for me. I don't know how anyone could actually finish a whole one of these. It's so sickly. The, the peanut butter is very strong. It's also very salty. Um which normally salt and chocolate go well together, but I don't know. I, I don't think I'm acclimated to the taste of peanut butter in candy because we don't really have peanut butter candy in the UK. I don't think I could name any that comes with peanut butter flavor. The only time we really have peanut butter in the UK is on toast in the morning, and that is pretty rare as well. Not very often you'll find someone that has peanut butter on toast in the morning. And certainly people don't often have it in a sandwich um, or anything like that. So I'm not very used to it. But I would probably give the Reese's uh, a 4 out of 10. If it wasn't so strong flavour, then I would definitely rate it higher. But up next, we have beef jerky. Now this one's a weird one because uh, with stuff like Reese's and Hershey's, if I don't like it, that's my rating. But unfortunately, this is beef jerky, uh, which comes in many different brands and different flavors and different 
uh, recipes so I can't give an overall rating on all beef jerky with this review uh, but I can only give a review rating of this specific one now I don't know because I'm from the UK whether this is a good brand a bad brand an unknown brand or it could be just an English brand pretending to be an American one I have no idea but I've never had this before so I'm gonna taste it and let you know what I think um, Wow actually a lot <laughs> it's actually red like a pinky red color and you can actually the light actually shines through this now this is not what I was expecting I was kind of expecting it to be like crispy um, but this looks and feels kind of rubbery um, yeah actually it is uh, quite rubbery uh, wow that is not it's chewy as well. That is not the flavour that I was expecting from beef jerky. Whenever I've seen or heard people talking about beef jerky, I always presumed that it was like a crispy kind of beef snack, not like a rubbery one. The flavour is strange as well. It tastes a lot like um, slow cooked beef stew, that kind of flavour. Um, and I always presumed that like weird flavor it came with was from the vegetables, but I guess it's just what happens when you slow cook beef because it doesn't taste like regular beef. Like if you have a beef burger, it doesn't taste like that. It tastes completely different. So I don't know whether that's the marinade they used or the way it's been cooked, but that is not the flavor I was expecting, nor the texture either, because in the UK we have something called pork scratchings, which are kind of like a, a pork skin uh, with a little bit of fat and then they fry it I think and it goes really crispy and it's a really beef strong beef flavor I was kind of expecting something along the lines of that but that is not what I was expecting but I guess it tastes okay just not what I was expecting so I would probably rate that cool I don't know maybe a five out of ten I wouldn't rush out to go pick up some more beef jerky. However, if someone in the comments tells me that's really bad cheap beef jerky, you should have got this one or whatever, then I probably will try beef jerky again. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking that maybe most beef jerky tastes similar, but I could be wrong. It was something that I definitely wanted to try again because I do have fond memories of eating nerds. Now we do have something in the UK that looks pretty similar to this called Millions. However, Millions are like uh, chewy uh, little chunks of candy, whereas I think Nerds are crunchy. Uh, so yeah, a little bit different, but we are going to uh, try both sides. We have strawberry and we have grape. So let's get some of these out. There we go. Oh, quite a few there. At them now I'm just gonna throw these all in because I presume you don't eat these one by one so I'm just gonna put them all in at once oh oh yeah um, that is a really strong flavor oh really citrusy a little bit of um, a tang on those flavor there as well it's actually burning my throat a little bit because it's so citrusy but it did have a good flavor um, but we have some grape ones here as well so we're gonna put them in Wow okay so those do not taste like grape at all they are really strong oh my god um, yeah those are really strong they don't taste like grape whereas the strawberry ones definitely taste like strawberry um, they're just really sugary the grape ones and kind of sour as well they are burning my throat quite a bit now I do have this thing where if I eat something really citrusy it does kind of burn my throat I can't really drink orange juice or anything like that so that might be just me being weird um, but they are very very citrusy very very sugary but the overall flavor is very nice very nice and I do remember the flavor quite distinctively now that I've had them again However, I think the rainbow ones we had back in the day had more flavors. They weren't just strawberry. I think we had like watermelon and orange and stuff like that. Um, 
but yeah I do like the crunch I like stuff that's really crunchy um, so the crunch on those is really good like they're quite hard and they just like shatter and dissolve in your mouth um, which is really nice but we're gonna move over to Mike and Ike's now let me tell you in the UK we're really stingy we'll give you a box this size but we'll only half fill it up uh, with candy or sweets um, whereas this one is definitely full right to the brim it is a really heavy package uh, full of sweets it's actually probably the heaviest one we've got uh, so far today so I'm really impressed with how much they give you in a Mike and Ike pack as you can see here we've got all of the flavors I don't know whether you can read them on camera uh, but there is 10 different flavors uh, probably gonna struggle a little bit with them flavors because there's like two different greens two different reds two different oranges uh, we're just gonna get a few of them out of the pack right now as you can see we have uh, two oranges there a pink Oh no, a dark orange one as well, and a green. I'm guessing the green one's like a, a, a lime or something. Um, but yeah, we have five different flavors there, or five of the sweets there. We're gonna try a few of these. I'm not looking forward to these because they do look a lot like jelly beans, and I do not like jelly beans. Um, the flavor or the texture is just something. Yeah. Oh, that is, uh, ooh. I don't know what flavor that is. Well, it's like a a lime. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. No, that is not something I enjoy at all. Oh, it tastes a lot like a jelly bean texture-wise, and the flavor is so artificial. That is incredible. That that is even classed as a flavor. It's more like a Oh, I don't even know how to describe that. I'm going to put that one down because I think that's the same flavor as that other one we have. Right, let's go for the dark one. Yep, and again, that is also not a very nice flavor. <laughs> oh, it's like sticking to my teeth as well. The texture is really bad. Um, I know it's like a peachy flavor. I don't really know where they're going with these flavors. They're so over the top and soury as well. Okay, that one was okay. Yeah, that one was better. That one actually tasted like an actual fruit, um, which is which is okay. Uh, this one is like a really pink color. Oh no, that is dreadful. Oh, that is an awful flavor. What even is that? That is so strange. It's like tropical or, or something along them lines. I have no idea what that is trying to be. The problem with these sweets, guys, is they're artificial flavors. And in the UK, we've kind of like banned artificial flavors and colorings in sweets. Um, I don't know whether we banned them or whether all the companies just decided not to use them anymore for marketing reasons. Um, but growing up, you can't really tell the difference. But when you're an adult, you really can. Like, I've not had sweets in a while, but the last time I did, they weren't artificially flavored. And you can really tell the difference. So those were not very nice at all. And I'm probably going to rate them a 2 out of 10 sorry if Mike and Ike's are your favorite sweets but they're really not good they're really not good I can understand why a child would like them there's loads in the box they're chewy they have a slightly fruity flavor I suppose and they're very sweet so it makes sense but we're moving on now to warheads now warheads originals are like a really soury sweet I think Whereas these are kind of like a chewy, uh, with like a sugary uh, outside on, um, which is interesting because that's not what I thought I bought, but there we go. Um, yeah, I just presume because they had warheads on the pack that they were actual warheads, but they weren't. Uh, but I picked a few of these flavors out now. We're going to try them. We have a orange, a green, a black one, a red one. Uh, 
I think that's strawberry or watermelon, and then we have orange, and then I think the purpley black one is kind of like a uh, a berry flavor of some sort, a cherry, um, and then we have the green one for apple. Oh, yeah, that is not nice. That is, whoo, that watermelon flavor is horrible, and it's really sour. It says mildly sour on the packet. <laughs> it's more than mildly sour, that one. I had to spit that one out, sorry. Right, let's move on to the orange. Hmm, that's interesting. So that one actually tastes like the white bit of the skin. You know when you peel an orange and it has that like white pithy skin? Uh, that's actually what that tastes like. It doesn't taste like the actual orange, but it tastes like that like peel on the inside of the skin, uh, which is like a really weird flavor, uh, something you wouldn't normally eat. Um, so I don't know why they chose to go with that part of the orange for the flavor, but it's not bad. I could probably eat that. Oh, this one's actually quite nice. So this one is cherry flavored, I think. Oh yeah, that's actually a really nice flavour to be honest. It's not too sweet, it's not too sour, and it actually tastes like cherry. Which <laughs> makes a change because nothing else today's really tasted like the their flavours, but that one's actually really good. Hmm. Finished that one off actually. And then last but not least we have apple. I'm not looking forward to this one. I don't like sour apple at all. But we're gonna give this one a go and see what it tastes like. Uh, but yeah, I'm not not got my hopes up at all for this one. Oh God, here we go. Oh no, <laughs> it tastes exactly like sour apple vodka, like apple sours. I don't know if any of you guys have tried that before, but <laughs> that's really sad. I have to put that away. Oh, that is not good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh that is dreadful so warheads obviously are not like a sweet that you pick up and not like a candy you pick up for like uh, the flavor i suppose a bit like mike and ike's they're more of like a um i don't know something you get when you're with your mates just to see who can eat them I, i'm not sure uh but mike and ike's were just horrible warheads were a little bit better but yeah, overall, some really nice stuff here. The, the Tootsie Rolls or Tootsie Rolls, I would eat again. Uh, but my number one is definitely the cookie and cream. I would definitely buy that again. And then I would say the Nerds, then the Tootsie Rolls as my number three. Um, I would probably then choose the Beef Jerky and the Reese's. Uh, and then I guess... Mm. The original Hershey's would probably be next. Uh, the Reese's would have been higher on my list, but the, the flavor was just way too strong. And then, of course, last but not least, the Mike and Ikes and the Warheads are, you know, down there as my least favorite uh, on the list uh, of stuff that I tried today. But yeah, that is my taste test of the American candy and sweets, along with the, uh, the beef jerky, of course. Uh, so thank you very much for watching guys. I hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed today's video If I missed anything that I should have tried then let me know in the comment section down below Let me know what you think of all of these ones as well if you've tried them Or maybe one of these is your favorite candy uh, Let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you have an idea of what I should try next Then let me know as well if you're new to the channel Please do subscribe leave me a like or thumbs up on the video and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.